The Ashanti use of gold is lavish and extraordinary, and it reflects the golden wealth of the grand empires of Western Africa in the Middle Ages. More than 900 years ago, a North African historian described the royal court and ceremonial of that distant time in the empire of ancient Ghana, almost as though he were describing King Opokuware of today. The king adorns himself like a woman, wearing necklaces and bracelets of gold. Behind him stand pages holding shields and swords decorated with gold, and on his right are the sons of the subordinate kings of his country, all wearing splendid garments and their hair plaited with gold. Today, most of the king's political power has gone. But in accordance with tradition, the king still has the right to promote his subordinate chiefs to higher ranks. These chiefs, as on similar occasions in the past, come forward one by one to reaffirm their loyalty and offer royal praises.